Hey guys, what's going on? Adam Snyder here with The Homemade Entrepreneur. So today I wanna explain to you guys my strategy behind some of the top selling products on Amazon. So what I get asked all the time is, couldn't you just go on Amazon, type in, you know, or go into whatever category, let's say, toys or tools or whatever, it doesn't matter. Couldn't you just go into that category, figure out what the top 100 items are that are selling and go find those at the best price? Well, you could, that's a great strategy. You know, if everybody could find those exact items for a lot less than they're selling for on Amazon and actually make a profit, you could just buy the top 100 items in every single category and make, you know, millions of dollars every year. But it's a lot harder than it sounds. So. Finding the best, the top selling products on Amazon for a great price is difficult. So what do I do? What's my strategy behind this? It's actually very simple. Something that I've been doing probably for about almost two years and I've never actually talked about here on YouTube or really anywhere else. And so you know I've I kinda I kinda go back and forth on, you know, telling or you know, revealing the strategy. It's not really something that's, you know, top secret, but something that a lot of people just never thought of. So, all right, so I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna reveal the strategy, um, but stop messing around, I guess. But, so what I do, let's say, let's say I'm looking for a, let's, let's use, let's use cameras, for example. Let's say I wanna find a, so, you know, the camera I'm using right now is a Canon EOS 70D. So, one thing people could do is try to find this camera for a very cheap price, or they could find this camera, this camera's alternative, this camera's cheaper model, this camera's, you know, you know, last year's model, this, you know, the you know knockoff version, the one step down, the you know, there's so many different ways you can say it. All I'm doing is finding this X products alternative. That is it. So people go to Google all the time. And I know this for a fact because I do a lot of, you know, stuff on Google, do, you know, SEO, do, oh, anyway, I'm not talking about that right now. But, so people always go to Google and type in, you know, let's say Canon EOS 70D alternative or Canon G7X alternative or, you know, uh, alternative to, you know, whatever. Let's say, you know, somebody's wanting to buy a, you know, the... The, the DJI you know drone the phantom drone what if that's too expensive so instead of spending you know six seven hundred dollars for this brand new one they get the phantom 3 alternative and that brings them down to like a two hundred dollar item so what I do essentially is I find the alternatives to these items then I figure out where I can get those items for less so really the the key to this actually working you have to use uh, Facebook. You need to use um, you need to use Craigslist, and you need to go to pawn shops. Pawn shops sell all this stuff. They sell the the lower versions of all the high price stuff, because everyone that goes into a pawn shop, they're they're always looking for the you know they want this or they want that. So anytime we're going to pawn shop, I'm looking for the Canon 70D. A lot of times I'm finding the 60D. I don't want the 60D. I don't want to use that, but other people might so all I do is get that item for a little bit better price and I'm in business I'm making money and I'm happy so that's my strategy in a nutshell is instead of going for the the you know top 100 toys I'm looking for the top 100 toys but their alternative their cheaper model their you know last year's model their discontinued by manufacturer that's what I'm looking for because I know just because that might not have the best rank on Amazon, that might not be the most sought after item. People are still looking for that because the amount of people that are gonna pay $100 for a brand new toy are a lot less than the amount of people that will pay $50 for almost the exact same thing, but maybe a different color, you know, different model, different, you know, whatever. So by looking for the alternative on the top, you know, 100 or 1,000 items in a specific category, you can easily make money doing that. That is a it's a viable business you can get into. It just takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of research. I'm not saying, 
you know, I'm the best at it. I don't know anybody else that actually does this. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know anybody else that actually does this. But what I know is that there's a lot of people out there trying to find the top 100 items in, you know, whatever category. They just can't find it. They can't find it for the price they are willing to pay because they still need to make a, a profit. They still need to make some money. So just keep that in mind. I know a lot of people aren't going to use this strategy exactly, which is fine. Go, you know, change the strategy up, you know, make do little tweaks, you know, whatever you need to do. Just start making money. That's all I'm saying. Get out there, start making money. There's a bunch of different strategies you can use. And, yeah, you just got to figure out which ones those are, how you can make money with them, and put them to work. So, if you guys have any questions on this strategy, you know, I know it's pretty vague. You know, the, you know, the description, the, you know, examples I gave you. But I think you can take it from here. It's a very simple strategy. Just go to Amazon.com, figure out what the alternatives to whatever item you're looking for. Figure out what those are. Go find them. See you guys on the next video.